Hey everyone, here Hi. we are and we're ready to come to your YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, I am Amanda. I'm Ashley. And together we are the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Over the past two years, we've had so many requests from you to please start a YouTube channel. So a little bit about who we are. We are the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. You may know us from such designs as A Very Merry Christmas Town, uh, Mysterious Halloween Town, along with our collection of seasonal sayings and our brand new Autumn Skies pattern. We've been in business for almost 10 years now. Yep, just about. Just about 10 years, so that's really exciting and that was definitely a motivating factor is we've been doing this for 10 years we should definitely put ourselves out there a little bit more because you guys are so supportive of us and we definitely should be sharing a little more behind the scenes with you and we think it would be really fun so i am amanda and a few things about me when i'm not working at the frosted pumpkin stitchery i like to sew uh, ashley and i both have recently gotten into uh, clothing sewing mm -hmm. so what are you wearing right now i'm wearing my hinterland dress that i made about a month or so ago yeah but i haven't really taken it off much since <laughs> i've made it she has been hinterland crazy and to the point where i'm kind of like yeah i should make a hinterland mm -hmm. too yes. <laughs> and good story about the fabric our uh co-worker Belinda she is in Australia and she shipped us a big package of fabric from Spotlight Spotty Spotty, <laughs> Spotty yeah. which we heard you call it which is adorable and that was awesome to receive and it's just been it's really fun to see how like other big chain stores around the world sell fabric and she made this dress and I wish that now I had picked this <laughs> fabric too um, today I'm wearing uh, Megan Nielsen's curved briar which is a t-shirt. This fabric actually came from you. Did it? Yeah. Ashley. Oh, Ashley. Nice. <laughs> Ashley gave me a gift card to oh, that's right. Okay. To, <laughs> she gave me a gift card to Hearts Fabric two, two years ago? I think so. Two yeah, years about ago. That, yeah. And it worked out really good because it was uh, a flash sale on my birthday weekend. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, oh, it's nice. It, it was it worked awesome. out well. It worked out so well. So from this fabric, I got um, this curve and a uh, Helen's Closet Blackwood cardigan. So I have a t-shirt and a cardigan. If I wear them both at the same time, I'll just be like a small evergreen tree. <laughs> <laughs> and then my pinafore is York. Yes. York yeah. pinafore from Helen's Closet. And you cut out one too. I did. I haven't made it yet, but it's all cut and ready to go. <laughs> So one thing is that um, we should probably have a little bit of disclaimer. While we are obviously cross stitch crazy because we own the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery and we love cross stitch, our video isn't going to be just 100% floss tube. I'm thinking of, of it as more like a, a craft, craft channel because I like to, like, like I mentioned, we both like to sew. Um, you like to knit. I do. Yeah, she, I love to knit. She's a really good knitter. Beautiful shawls. How many shawls? Uh, I don't know how many I have. I was trying to do one a month for a, a full year and I think I got to 12 and I'm probably only up to like 20 now though all together. Only. But only up to 20. I do love to make them. <laughs> so she makes absolutely beautiful shawls. Um, and I know that a lot of you who follow us, you're not just cross stitchers. Like we have a whole bunch of friends who are knitters or spinners, weavers, dyers quilters, garment sewers, uh, journalists. Like we have such an amazing community of crafters behind us that we wanna share all the crafty things that we enjoy and you enjoy. But we will of course be sharing a lot about the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery because that's us. That's <laughs> us, <laughs> that's our job. <laughs> and we love it and we wanna share a lot of it with you. So in addition to sewing, I also like to swim and I also really like to watch K-dramas on the couch. That's it. Uh, sometimes I do journal. Um, I really love the Hobonichi system from Japan. Ashley also is a Hobonichi fan. And so my, my job in the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery is if you send an email, likely I'm the person you're chatting with. Um, I also do a lot of our social media advertising my favorite part of my job is shipping for some reason I absolutely just love writing your name saying you know thank you for your order getting it out there we have a really great relationship with our post office in town I kind of always thought to myself like if I didn't do the frosted pumpkin stitchery 
I get a little work at the post office. <laughs> I don't know. It's really, it's kind of goofy, but it is what it is. And I won't lie to you, my love of all things mail and happy mail inspired our Pen Pals series of cross-stitch patterns for sure. <laughs> so that's everything about me. Tell us about you. <laughs> As Amanda said, I like to knit. Um, I'm getting back into sewing with the help of Amanda. Yes. Um, and I like to swim as well. I used to swim in high school and college, so we've bonded over that as well. We have, yeah, we have between us a very epic collection of seasonal swim caps, which if you follow the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery, <laughs> I'm sure this will come as no surprise. Yesterday I was on the phone with a um, business resource center trying to order a printer. And the guy was looking at our website and he's like, you kind of remind me of like a Hallmark store. It's so colorful and really holiday. And I thought, you're not wrong. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> we do love anything seasonal. And when I, when I wanted to learn how to swim, Ashley was super encouraging and surprised me with all these um, caps. So we have like Halloween caps and we have Christmas caps. I just found my Halloween. I forgot I had it, so I gotta start wearing that one again. You do, you do. Um, yeah, for sure, that was a good one. Okay, sorry, go ahead. More about you. Oh no, um, I like to Hobonichi. Um, and then the other thing that I love to do is hang out with my two little nieces who are five and almost seven. And they are a lot of fun. And we do crafty things together. We just made a little Halloween banner uh, last week. And yeah, they're fun to make things with. That's adorable. You made pillowcases with them like a couple weeks yes. ago. Yes, yeah. I taught my eldest niece um, how to use my machine and to make a pillowcase. And she made another little pillow for a friend. And she wants to make a dress now. So That's we're on our way to a, a baby hinterland. <laughs> <laughs> a baby hinterland. That would not surprise me. Um, yeah, at all. Because you love them. You love them. I know that she's collected like so many different fabrics to make the hinterland. And I'm sitting here like, I don't have a hinterland. You need one. I you need one. Need I need one. one. Once my um, arm heals, <laughs> and then yes. I will be, or maybe I could just give you my measurements today and you could just make me a I can make you one. Yeah. How great would that be? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's pretty much who we are as people. And throughout the show, we will maybe share things with you like pattern reviews. Uh, I just sewed a tote bag from Noodlehead. I did share a pattern review of that. I also belong to a sticker of the month club. That would be fun to Ooh, review. That would be cool. Yeah. That's just something really cute. Because like I said, even though I know a lot of you cross stitch, you guys have so many really great interests and we want to kind of hit all those things with you because we don't do just one craft, yeah. right? Like right now we're currently um, thinking about starting a Kickstarter for mm -hmm. a time turner. Mm -hmm. And the plan is it will be very similar to Hermione's, mm -hmm. but it will extend your craft time by like five to six hours each day. Yeah. And then we can do even more crafts. More crafts. <laughs> I mean, obviously we can't actually do that, but in my dream world, it would be nice to have. It would be nice to have. So coming up in pumpkin news, pumpkin news, this, is just, this just in. <laughs> coming up in pumpkin news, we have a brand new stitch along. So, this is super exciting because this year we've only had two stitch alongs. We've had Welcome to Pumpkinville, which is our year long club in which people are stitching up the fictional town of Pumpkinville. Uh, each month you get a business or establishment in the town of Pumpkinville along with its inhabitants. It's really cute. I don't want to pick favorites, but it's my favorite of all of the, all? of all, of all the year long samplers because I've always wanted to do a town. Yeah with houses and businesses. It's just, it's so cute. And then the other one that we did this year was our squad rules. <laughs> and nice. these are these little guys right here and they are so stinking cute. I love them. It's been um, great hearing your feedback on this one. So for, I don't want to get too much ahead of myself here, but for squad rules, we released the chart into two um, clues. So if you are completely new to our stitch alongs, I'll back up a little bit. What we do is Ashley designs a chart. It's really cute. We have all different themes, whatever we have going on, Ashley designs it. She sends it to our sample stitcher, Christy. Christy has been with us for a long, a long time, since the beginning. She stitches all of our samples that Ashley does at the stitch. Um, and she'll check for things like colors looking okay on the fabric. Maybe the design needs a little bit of tweaking here and there. That's her role. 
then she sends it back to us and we get everything going for the club for you. So we start with the main chart and we then break it up into bite-sized clues. So that way at the end of the club, you end up with a finished pattern, but it's not quite as daunting to yeah. work on. And we started our stitch alongs many, many years ago. Our first stitch along was in 2011 was the first one. 2011, <laughs> which I know that now it's kind of common, like the, all kinds of designers are doing this, but we kind of, we kind of started it a little yeah. bit. Or like, at least one of the very first. Or at least one of the very first here on the big interwebs. <laughs> so after Christy stitches it, after it goes out into the world, you then get an email once a week, once a month. It depends on how we've broken up the clues. And with the squad, a lot of people said, oh, I wish that the clues were um, spread out more. Mm -hmm. And when we first started out, we did longer clubs where um, I believe Mysterious Halloween Town was... That was at least four weeks? Four maybe weeks. Five. Four weeks, maybe five. So based on your feedback, because we love your feedback and we really take a lot of what you say to heart, um, for our upcoming club, we're breaking it up again into... This time it'll be six Six clues. parts. Six parts. Mm -hmm. And the final part is going to be a finishing Finishing, video. how to assemble... Yeah, for our last year's Halloween club, Jack's Halloween Dream, we created not only like a printed tutorial that you could print from home and then check off and work on bit by bit, but we also created a video series and we'll be creating a video series for this club as well um, as soon as I have two arms. So, yeah, both arms. <laughs> both arms. Um, right now we're kind of we're kind of working with just one limb, <laughs> so do what we can do. Um, but it's a lot of fun creating the videos and we had a lot of positive feedback from Jack's Halloween Dream. People wrote in and said, you know, they were concerned that it was going to be a little bit difficult putting the hanger in, mm -hmm. but they found the direct, the step-by-step -step directions really easy. So I love to make things um, as clear for you as possible. And I thought if we do a written tutorial and a video tutorial for the new club, it should be helpful. Yeah. It'll be really helpful. And it's going to be a flat fold finish, which is something that sometimes we do. Mm -hmm. We do. I feel like we're doing it more and we've been we've been doing little ornaments and things in it but yeah it'll be nice to do a big project it, it will be nice to do a big project in it and I think that the finishing is going to be similar to our 2019 candy corn costume party pattern cover image oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. it'll where, be like that where it's um a flat fold then laid on top of another piece of fabric mm -hmm. So to, to go into the club today, I have the sample here. I'm not going to show you the entire sample because spoilers, <laughs> but just so you know, it's stitched and it's so cute. I love it. It came out great. Um, Christy did an absolutely beautiful job on it. And this is one of the things that I really love about what we've built together as a business is I know some designers are comfortable like designing a stitch along or a quilt along or a sew along or whatever, and the entire pattern isn't done up front. That that stresses me out. That stresses <laughs> us out way too much. So sometimes we don't we can't release quite as many things as other people, but it's because we have everything like completely done before the club even launches. So that means the pattern has been stitched, designed, the PDFs have been done. We also have a team of two amazing tech editors. Christy and Belinda, they are super detail oriented. And it's always our goal to release a chart that's 100% error free because it's so discouraging when you get started on a project and you're part way through and there's an error in the instructions or in the chart. Like I know I recently sewed a dress pattern and I was like, this is not making sense. This is not making sense. I texted you, you were like, this is not making sense. This is not making sense. We had to go visit the designer's website, found that it was a mistake in the chart. Like that that's too much for me. That's that's a little too stressful. And while I understand that everybody's human, if there is an error in any of our charts, we correct it, re-upload the file. So six months go by, you go to download your file, it automatically has the most current, correct, up-to-date information in it. And I think that we've only had a few errors and we always correct them. Yeah, we try our hardest. Yeah, we definitely try our hardest. We're kind of a little bit obsessed <laughs> with details. So. Do you want to talk a little bit about the inspiration behind this? I haven't even said the name of it yet, or the theme. Drum can roll, I say please. The full name. You can say the full name. Yeah, it is the Nutcracker Parade, and I want—I've been wanting to do a Nutcracker themed pattern for 
years, three, four, five years or so. <laughs> Literally and years. It just hasn't worked out yet, but this was the year to do it. But we wanted to change it up a little bit and make it into a parade that you might see passing through Pumpkinville. So that's, that's it's what we're gonna do. So cute. Not only is it a uh, Nutcracker story slash ballet themed, it also is parade themed. So it's three little floats with a really beautiful border. We know that you love a good border. She's a beautiful border designer. And then it has the title, the Nutcracker Parade. So talking about the supplies, one thing that we try to do is we try to make exclusive kits to our shop um, for our projects, especially the stitch alongs. And for this one, if you've never bought a kit from us, I'll go ahead and I'll do a little chat about what to expect when you order a kit from us and the supplies that we're using. So one thing that we do is if you want to buy all your supplies from us, meaning the full kit, it comes with a PDF, we mail it directly to you, you download your clues, you happily stitch away. The other option would be you can buy the fabric only and it comes bundled with the PDF. And that way, if you have a big um, stash of like DMC or hand dyed threads that you love, you still are using the same fabric as us, but you can use your own stash, which is awesome. For me, I, right now I'm holding the um, Ada fabric. And you yeah. have, this is the linen or the cashel. Christy prefers to stitch on um, Cashel and Lugana, so most of our cover images will be stitched with that kind of fabric. If you're brand new to cross-stitching and you aren't sure where to begin, Ada is a great start. And what makes the fabric in our kits a little bit different than what you would buy at, say, Joann's or Michael's, is these are um, European linens that are then hand-dyed by Picture This Plus in Kansas. And we love them. Um, if you've ever taken a tour of our website, you will know that we use Picture This Plus for everything, but like maybe one or two <laughs> projects. Yes, until maybe like the patterns from the f like our very first like five or six patterns because we didn't know about her. We only only because we didn't know about yeah, her. Yeah, we only once we knew about her, which was Spooky Sampler. Was that our first? I think yeah. Spooky Sampler was our first. Since then, we try to use her fabrics as much as possible because the quality is beautiful. We've never been let down. The colors are phenomenal. There's always a great choice. So if you're new to cross stitch, Ada is where it's at. And it is much softer. You can see it has like a nice drape to it in my hand. Um, I apologize, I have one hand. So yes, could you, could, open? could you please be my, my model? So you can see it's not stiff. If you look at the Charles Craft Ada um, at Joann's and Michael's or your local craft store, it's really stiff and there's there's nothing wrong with that. I do know that if you buy the Charles Craft linen, you can always wash it beforehand and that will get some of the sizing off, but it won't really feel quite as soft. Yeah, quite as soft as this. Um, and that's not to say that as a intermediate or advanced stitcher, you can't stitch on Ada. Like I personally, when I can stitch, I love to stitch on Ada. Mm -hmm. I think that my tension looks a lot better. I find it easier to count. It makes it a little bit of a more stress-free stitching for me because the counting is so easy. I can watch TV while I do it. It's really, I like it. And yeah. I know we have quite a few people who've been stitching for many, many years and they also love Ada. So it can be really the choice is yours. And we have had quite a few people who I remember when we did Once Upon a Time. So Once Upon a Time is a big story themed um, pattern that we did. And when we did that one, I know that there were three or four stitchers that there, it was their very first project and they stitched it on the linen. They loved it. Once they, once you get into the rhythm of it, a lot of people love it. Yeah. So it really depends on how you feel as a crafter. Do you feel like you're wanting to start out small and kind of just go a little bit slower and learn? Or do you like to dive in the deep end? Some people do. Some people <laughs> do. I can tell you I am almost always team deep end. Yeah. <laughs> like when I start a new craft or a new hobby, I'm like, I'm, a, I'm in. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's mm -hmm. do it. I think that like one of my first quilts, I was like, I can make a king size quilt. Mind you, I don't even have a king size bed. <laughs> but you need the quilt. But I need the quilt. <laughs> So it really, it depends on you, your comfort level, pick the fabric choice that makes the most sense to you and enjoy whatever you're working on. So we have the fabric and the PDF, and then we also have the full kit. So 
Thank you, model. Here is a full kit. If you want to fold it up a little bit closer, I think we can do, yeah, cool. Okay, so this is a full kit. You can tell by the colors. I have this pen, this is what I want. You can tell by the colors we picked a really beautiful jewel themed palette for this because we're thinking Nutcracker, ballet, parade, fancy. There's a king, there's some princesses, there's some sugar plums. Mm -hmm. We gotta go bold, bright. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. So the kit contains a full um, fat eighth of fabric. Now a fat eighth measures 13 by 18. Sometimes when people are new to cross stitch, they say an eighth of a yard, that's too small. This is a fat eighth. This one, the fabric is cut wider. Yeah, and this is the size it will be. And this is the fat eighth of cashel. And you can see one side is finished. This is the selvage edge. So let's say you want to work on this project for the next year, carry it around in your purse, carry it around in your, you know, whatever bag you like to use. These edges won't fray. That means you can work on your project and you have the peace of mind that your fabric isn't disintegrating as it's being manhandled in your bag and as you're working on it. The other nice thing is if you choose to wash your um, project afterwards, we don't wash anything, but I know a lot of you do, or if you did have an accident, mm -hmm. chocolate, coffee, bad news. Um, with the surged edges, you don't have to worry about it fraying when you wash it. So it's something extra that our fabric has that we really find helpful. So the other thing that we do differently is we include full skeins of each color. As you know, uh, we fully test the pattern before we release it. So by giving you the full skeins, everybody stitches differently. Sometimes people will stitch with three threads. Sometimes people will want to change out a color. By giving you the full skeins, you don't have to go to a last minute trip to Joann's, Michael's, your local needlework store for an additional skein. If you do choose to stitch with three or four, you might want to shoot us an email and I can double check the thread consumption. In that case, you might have to buy an additional an skein. But for the most part, you can, I can say without a doubt, if you stitch two over two and just are pretty tidy, you don't, even, you don't have to be super meticulous, but if you're tidy, this kit will give you your entire project. And that's the goal. We want to be able to make it so that way the kit arrives to you, you print and download your pattern or view it on your tablet or other smart device, and you can just sit in your cozy spot and stitch. There's no other like running around, nothing like that. Sometimes people love the running around. Like I know yeah. I love the running around. Um, we were actually just joking around that at one point we need to buy one skein of each color of each color yeah. of DMC because when we design a new pattern, we'll make a quick little like trip to Joanne's or Michael's and we bring the laptops in they rest on the carriages people around us are like what are these two mm -hmm. girls doing and we do the floss toss on all the different fabrics and it's actually i love it it is fun although they thought i've been an employee a couple of times <laughs> and i think it's because of the laptop but um, it is so fun <laughs> excuse me ma'am yeah yes there's been a couple of times <laughs> there has there has mm -hmm. and it's because you always look nice and you always wear dresses <sighs> I never have the vest on or a name tag, so I don't know why they think that. They just think that. So if you're the type of person who likes to go and collect your materials, maybe a kit isn't for you, maybe you want to purchase just the fabric from us. And then the other thing that we offer are these. This is awesome. So the Nutcracker Parade is stitched with two colors of classic color works. And Ashley turns them into little cute bundles, like twisties for you guys. Um, and it just makes shipping and the, the flat packing of them easier. And also they're really cute and they're fun to take photos of. But all they are is this is just two full skeins of classic color works and they're really beautiful. And I was very pleased to see one of the colors you picked is called Sugar Plum. Sugar Plum! I had to. You had to. It would have been a terrible, yeah, it had to happen. And classic color works um, really dyes some beautiful colors. Yeah. Yeah, we typically use them, uh, Weeks Dye Works, and a few from The Gentle Art. Mm -hmm. A couple, as sure. well. We have some in this uh, pattern. This one too. And, and that one too. And this yeah. one too. So the reason why today I decorated the table, aside from it being seasonally appropriate, um, with these two patterns is because the shape and size of the Nutcracker Parade is very similar to these. And pretty awesome. These are two of our very best selling patterns of all time. They, when, as soon as we put a kit in the store, they tend to sell out really fast and they are such a joy to stitch. 
I love these them. Are, these are two of my favorites. Mine too. too, for sure, for sure. So if you enjoyed stitching up either one of these, you'll definitely want to give the Nutcracker Parade a look because it's really similar. Do you know the size off the top of your head? I have it on my computer, but it's, I want to say 10 stitches wider okay, and maybe 5 to 10 taller, okay. just a tiny bit. Yeah, so it's just a, a small, slight difference. But it, I think that if you were to decorate and if you use um, a, the same uh, frame, you could pop them in and out easily, mm -hmm. really, really easy. And of course, we also will be having that video for you that's going to show you how to do a flat fold finish. But this, you know, the choice is yours. You can do whatever you want. It's your yeah. project. Um, so I've talked about the supplies. Um, we've talked about the palette of colors. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go over like the schedule and how it works? Oh yeah. So our plan is to release six installments of the pattern starting on October 25th and it's going to be on a Friday so we thought you'd have the weekend to work on your project and we're going to go every weekend or every Friday until November 29th so then you have some time to still finish it up before Christmas if you want to use it for decorations at your house or if you plan on giving it as a gift to someone you have enough time to finish it up and give that gift. Yeah, for sure. One thing I also want to make clear is this is a um, not religious based, non denominational pattern. It is strictly nutcracker themed. There are some peppermint candies in it. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else that is any kind. Of, I don't know if those peppermint, sometimes candy canes. That, yeah. yeah. These have peppermint, um, like starlight mints in it. But regardless of how you choose to celebrate the holidays, if you're a nutcracker person, you'll want this pattern. It's a good one. So we've done that. I think I'm also gonna to talk to you right now about something that, oh, I know something I'm gonna talk about. Maria is currently, so Maria owns A Needle Runs Through It. You may have seen, if you have some stitching friends, um, our needle minders, needle minder. So these are laser cut pieces of wood that Maria makes for us. Um, she laser cuts them all from little pieces of wood. <laughs> they have very, very strong magnets on the back. You want to demonstrate this with me? We could stick it to that kit. <laughs> so to the needle? Yeah, so what the um, what the magnet does is as you're stitching, you can put it on your fabric and it will it will sandwich. There's two pieces. Oh wait, you know what? I could sandwich it on this. There we go. There you go. Perfect. And there you go. And what you do is when you're done stitching or if you like to load multiple needles at once with colors, you just put your needle on here and it prevents anybody stepping on your needles. <laughs> so this one is trick or treat themed. Um, my samples from Maria haven't arrived just yet because I gave her the order late because I couldn't decide on the design. <laughs> Full disclosure. <laughs> um, but they will be arriving in time for the club launch and it is a very cute design. Super I'm excited cute. to see it in person. I'm excited to see it in person too because it is an actual little nutcracker with Sugarloaf and Jack. Mm -hmm. And they look adorable. And Jack or Sugarloaf has a He's got a little a little nutcracker hat. hat. Yeah, he has a little hat on and he looks really adorable. So for the club, sales are going to start on the eleventh mm -hmm, of at, October. Oh, the eleventh of October at nine AM Pacific time. So because we have a lot of international customers, the best thing to Google is what time is it in California? And that will help you figure out what time you need to set an alarm for. Since I have been um, one armed, we have far less kits this time because um, we had to have somebody help us and it's been a whole thing. So if you have your heart set on a kit, definitely set an alarm because the time it takes for us to be able to get the fabric from Maryland, the DMC floss, the needles. Oh, they also come with a needle pack. I forgot to mention that about the kit. Sorry about that. Yeah. We come, they come with um, Bowen needles, which are French. Mm -hmm. Yes, they're French. Super smooth. They're awesome. Um, I like to change out my needle fairly regularly. I think it's, I think of it as the same as sewing where I really want to maintain the nice integrity of the thread and the fabric. So I do switch them out fairly regularly. So the kits do contain a six pack of Bowen tapestry needles as well. So by the time it takes all of the pieces to arrive to us, it can take about two months. So whenever things sell out and everyone's like, ah, will you restock that? The 
the answer is tricky because we want to restock that because we want you to be happy, obviously, but things take a lot of time because there's a lot of moving pieces. So we try to, especially this past year, we've been really good about ordering double, triple the amount. So that way, if you miss a launch, you're not completely out. Mm -hmm. But with this one, I do want to warn you that because of personal issues on my end, and I really do apologize, we have a smaller inventory to start with. So set an alarm, Google, what time is it in California? And you'll be all set. And I think that we will probably do one of those um, story countdowns. Oh yeah, that's helpful. Yeah, there's a story feature on Instagram where you can create a countdown and it will remind you when something is about to launch. I recently used it to buy some um, Kylie in the machine woven labels, oh. those little tags yeah, that I got yeah, you for yeah. your birthday. Yeah, I, I wanted to make sure I didn't miss the release of those. And I did that on a story and it was like, don't forget you want to buy this. And I'm like, no, I don't, I don't want to forget that. Thank you. So I think that's pretty much everything about the new club. We will be releasing sneak peeks. I'm not sure when this video is going to be uploaded. The sneak peeks may already be available to you. Yeah. We'll see how long this is going to take. Um, but I do want to talk to you about this cutie right here. This is adorable. So Ashley has been on a cookie kick, mm -hmm. definitely a sugar cookie kick. Last year we had um, cookies for Santa, which was stitched on gingerbread fabric, and they are cute little pillows, really similar to this. And there's a gingerbread, a figgy pudding, a reindeer, and a Santa. And they are also decorated with buttons from Just Another Button Company and fuzzy stuff from Rainbow Gallery. So if you like to stitch with all kinds of like specialty threads and buttons, that is a pattern for you, cookies for Santa. And then we followed it up with cookies for bunny, which was cookies for the Easter bunny. And there's the chick, a basket of eggs. I'm looking off camera <laughs> because I actually have a little tinsel tree with all of our ornaments <laughs> on it. Um, there's a bunny. Who's the other one? A, a big egg. A big egg. <laughs> <laughs> there's Sorry. a big decorated egg. <laughs> I forgot. No, there's a big egg. And then we followed that one up with, you can tell we like to go in cycles with themes because it feels good. Um, these ones, which are our little cutie Halloween guys. So I think I'm holding, oh, I'm holding Zoe the zombie. Who do you have? Frankie. Frankie Frankenstein. Frankenstein. He's so cute. And there are some kits of this available on our website. I think we have maybe like 30 linen and 20 Ada left. It, they're going really quick. I ship quite a few throughout the day. So if this is a club that you might want to stitch up, definitely grab that while you can. Uh, one thing that I also meant to mention is if you decide that you want to join the club after the club has ended, which is kind of really, they don't really they end, don't, yeah. they don't end. When you purchase the pattern, you get the full chart. You don't have to wait for it. We don't then send it to you in two week increments. You get the entire thing as an instant download so you can get started right away. And this is really helpful if you're the type of person who maybe doesn't like mysteries. <laughs> so you can wait for the club to end, view the entire chart, and then decide if it's something you want to stitch or not. Because sometimes mysteries can be hard. I've done that with shawl patterns. There's been a couple of, I'm not sure how my colors are going to work, so I wait for a few clues to um, be put out, and then I start. Yes. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah, yeah because, and I know what we have a group of like loyal stitchers who they know what to expect mm -hmm. and they're like instant download buyers. And then usually around like the first clue releases, then we get a whole slew of new people who are like, oh wait, I do like that design. Mm -hmm. I do like how they design yeah. things and, and our charts and everything. And if you would like, um, friends, if you have never bought a pattern from us or if you have any questions about how our patterns are laid out, you can send us an email or we could even create a video walking you through our patterns because our patterns are really, they're quite pretty. <laughs> I like them a lot. Um, Ashley, you, you went to school for graphic design? I did. Yeah. yeah. And we love that Adobe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we like to try to give you as many options as possible within our PDFs. So we have black and white charts, color charts, expanded charts, charts all on one page. Yeah, all the options. Literally all the options because again, we value your feedback and throughout the years we've gotten so many good suggestions from you guys. and. We try to make our PDFs really high quality, the best, the best that they can be. Yeah, I'm really, I love them. You do a good job. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so this is this one. 
Uh, oh, well, we also use the classic colorworks on this one. Yeah, we've been on a classic colorworks kick. We have. Yeah, we the have. last few patterns have had that. Yeah, and they're really they, we found that they're really wonderful to work with too. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. Um, yeah, I don't think we've ever really found anybody that's terrible to work with. No, no. no. <laughs> we're really lucky like that. So back to this guy. <laughs> After we took the sugar cookie bakery like whole roundabout, um, this is a brand new one. This is snowflake sugar cookie. And he can be found in the Just Cross Stitch 2019 Holiday Christmas Ornament Issue. This is the special issue. And we actually just spent the past month and a half, month and a half, re-releasing to you all of our designs from Just Cross Stitch. So if you don't have an issue of the magazine, you can now find all those patterns on our website. And we have a lot. Yeah, I think we ended up doing five or six we had some already on the yeah. site but we did or we're going to have one coming out soon coming out or soon. it might already be out yeah depending on when this goes live yeah <laughs> we have the nutcracker ornament yes we have welcome to batty bakery um i'm drawing a blank what other ones did we do uh snow globe the little penguin. penguin with the penguin yeah there's a lot like and and the, the tricky thing is is after you submit it to the magazine it gets mailed off to them they do their magic and then it arrives to us back and sometimes we kind of put them on our tree and then forget about them yeah <laughs> but we've gotten a lot of gentle nudges <laughs> from customers who've been like can you please release these I wasn't able to get an issue or they'll say like I want to have a list of what is what you've been published in so that way I can check my back issues for your designs. And so we're trying really hard to be better about that. <laughs> yeah. So this one will eventually be on our website. But in the meantime, if you grab your copy of Just Cross Stitch, it's in there and it's really cute. So I think that's everything we have for today, our very first YouTube video. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Um, I don't know what our schedule is going to be. Right now we are going into our very, very, very busy time of work. Uh, we do our 2020 year long stitch along. That's going to be coming up. I don't have any dates, times, clues. I don't have anything to tell you yet. So not there. Um, we have this Nutcracker Club coming up. We usually will do a needle minder event. So if there are any past designs of needle minders that you haven't been able to grab, we will have those all available in stock for purchase. These make really good stocking stuffers and gifts for Christmas. We have a Hanukkah themed um, seasonal yeah. saying, mm -hmm. which I cannot wait. We have another Christmas seasonal saying. We have a Thanksgiving pattern. I'm really excited one yeah did you get it from Christy it should be arriving today oh my gosh I can't wait we have a handful of five or six people who every like every September they give us the little so Thanksgiving pattern this year guys Thanksgiving pattern and last year we did gobble till you wobble our seasonal say and you guys really loved that but we had a couple people who were like please just a happy Thanksgiving so don't worry it's coming it's coming uh, what, else, what else do we have? That's a good chunk of stuff. That's going to keep you guys busy for a long time. <laughs> oh, we have the November and December releases of Pumpkinville, the final two charts, two. which I'm feeling really sad about it because, like I said, this has been my favorite club and it's a big undertaking. It is stitched on a fat quarter of fabric. Each block is dense with lots of great details. You just went I went crazy. With she it. went I, crazy. I had fun designing it. This was yeah. a good one. And we've got so much feedback from you guys that you really love the colors. You love all the different people. You love all the businesses. And we do too. And it's going to be really hard to say goodbye to that I club. Know. Really hard. But I know that what you have working on for 2020 is just as so. good. I hope so. It is. It's different. It is different. It is different. It's different. And I like it. I like it a lot. It'll be good. I think it's going to be really good. And um, it's on a completely different size fabric. Uh, it's a completely different layout. We've never done a layout like this before. It's a whole bunch of firsts mm -hmm. for us. And I, I hope that you'll 
follow along, whether you buy the pattern or just watch it progress on YouTube. We're trying to figure out the best way that we can film videos and share clubs in progress without doing too many spoilers. Yeah. So I was thinking about maybe pinning fabric to the spots that maybe haven't been released yet. Yeah, that would yeah. be a good idea. Yeah, just kind of figure it out as we go because we do want to share these things. So we aren't quite sure about our filming. I think we talked about maybe two videos or three videos a month. The other hard thing is that Ashley lives a few hours away from me, so she has to stop designing and stop working, drive down here, we film, and then she drives home, and hopefully today there will be sushi in my future. I hope so too. Yeah, <laughs> after this. Yeah. So I just wanna say a huge thank you to everybody who has taken the time to encourage us to do this, who has supported the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery for the past almost 10 years. Yeah. That's crazy. It's think. so crazy. You were just great graduating college. Yeah, because I graduated in 2011. Yeah. Did you ever think when you graduated that you would be doing this? No. No. No, no, no. Not and here we are. And if you don't know, like, this is both of our full-time jobs. You guys have been so supportive of us throughout the years. Like, we are... I'll try to move you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, friends. Maybe not my smartest move. It's cool though. Um, we just want to say a huge thank you from the bottom of our hearts to allow us to share with you all of these creations, all of Ashley's designs, all of my kind of wacky ideas. They're not all wacky. <laughs> some, of, some of them are a little bit. Sometimes Ashley has to rein me in and be like, that's not going to work. But it's been great. It's been an awesome ride. Mm -hmm. And it's really, a lot of times people will say, what's it like working with your best friend? awesome it is, fun. it is the best because we complement each other really well it's teamwork yeah makes the dream work teamwork makes the dream work <laughs> and on that note if you could subscribe to our channel like our channel follow us on instagram facebook anything that i've talked about today the sewing patterns the patterns in our shop um all that information i'll go ahead and i'll drop links below so that way you can find stuff We'll also be sending out our newsletter. You can sign up for our newsletter um, and keep track of what we're up to. We don't send out too terribly many. We aren't very spammy businesses. We are kind of quiet in that aspect. Um, but you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram. We have a Facebook uh, stitch along group. Everybody's really friendly. People are sharing all their projects. It's, it's a really chill group, very drum free. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for tuning in today. We will be back soon. I can't wait to share Nutcracker Parade with you and our 2020 sampler <laughs> and our Hanukkah pattern and all of our upcoming stuff. So thanks so much for hanging out with us today. We'll see you guys again soon. Bye. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs>